step to the front of your mat. Tadasana. Receive a full breath. Remember your intention. Exhale, place it in your heart. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, high on your fingertips. Exhale, right leg back lunge. Inhale, high on your fingertips, hug the midline, straighten the front leg, widen your sit bones. Parjvottanasana variation. Exhale, bow over the front knee. Inhale, look up, bend the front knee, lunge. Exhale, hold. Inhale, higher up, press your sit bones back and wide. High on your fingertips, exhale, bow over the front leg as it straightens. Inhale, look forward, bend the front knee, and step forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, left leg back to lunge. Hug the midline, inhale. Start to widen the sit bones and straighten your front leg. Exhale, bow over it. Shift the organs of the abdomen over to your right. Inhale, look forward, bend the front knee. Exhale there, strong legs. Inhale, hug the midline, widen your sit bones back to straighten the front leg. Long spine, long legs. Exhale, bow over the front leg. Inhale, bend the front knee. Step forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, right leg back, lunge. Take the back knee to the ground. Take both hands to the inside of the front foot. Walk them over about eight inches to a foot to your right. Hug the midline with your legs and widen your sit bones back. Keep your arms straight. And bring the coccyx in just enough to tone your low belly and soften between your shoulder blades. Keep the heads of your arm bones back. And take the hands wider, elbows wide, to lower your spine towards the earth. Take a deep breath, and exhale, bow your head towards the earth. Try to keep the front knee directly over your ankle. Perhaps crawl your shoulder underneath the leg. By hugging the shin with your hand, hand on the outside of the shin, you can bite the shoulder a little deeper underneath the leg. And tack the outer right hip back, left hip, I mean, the outer right, left hip back, right hip forward. In the spirit of adventure, lift the back thigh. Bring your coccyx in, root down into the front foot, and reach your arms out to the thighs. Flying lizard pose. Exhale to release. Inhale to lunge and step forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale. Other leg back, left leg back. Hug the midline, take both hands to the left. About eight inches to a foot off to the left. Hug the midline with the legs, exhale over the back knee. Keep your arms straight at first. Shoot your sit bones back and wide. Lightly bring your coccyx in. Then melt your spine towards the earth by bending the elbows out to the sides. Keep your heads of arm bones back. The entire spine melts towards the earth. One more deep breath. And exhale, head towards the earth. Try to keep the front knee right over your ankle. And perhaps crawl the right arm under the right knee. Take the right hand to the outside of your outer right shin, widen your sit bones and bite the shoulder right up underneath the knee, the knee close to your neck or your ear. And keeping that, lift the back thigh. Root into the front foot with the tailbone lightly in. Keep rooting into the front foot to take your arms out to the sides and fly. One more deep breath. And exhale to release. Inhale to lunge. Step forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, take a bow. Root down. Inhale to come all the way up and reach to the sky. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. Receive a full breath. Exhale, arms to your sides. Okay, we'll put together some of the things that we just did to move to Ekapada 
Kunda Nyasana two, an arm balance. Remember, there's nothing you have to do, no, I have to go. Now, if you're thinking that's very, very challenging, I'll let you take a little break. And actually, I'll wipe some of the sweat off. I can hardly breathe, I'm gonna drown. It's so humid here. <laughs> there we go. So, just to make it seem a little more accessible, we've already done the shape of Ekapada Kuninyasana. You can just watch for now. It's similar to what the front leg does, could be similar to Virabhadrasana 2, or even the side angle pose. And then that moving into the triangle, only with the arm inside the front leg. Can you see that? Yeah, that's sort of the shape of the pose. Then the idea is to do Chaturanga Dandasana arms like we did earlier on in the practice with the elbows over your wrists, okay? So if you want to take a looky while well, I do it once and then we'll try it on both sides, feel free to do that. So I'm gonna come start in downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, I'm going to bend one knee and take it to the side like I'm moving towards the shape of Virabhadrasana 2 or side angle pose. And come forward to like chaturanga arms and take that shape so the inner thigh of the bent leg is on my upper arm with my elbows over my wrists. Then I straighten the leg like triangle and reach my head forward so the back leg can lift. Ekapada Kuninyasana 2. Hmm. What do you think? Do you feel like an adventurer? Let's go for it. Here we go. Everybody come into plank pose. From plank, keep your hands and feet where they are. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take the right knee bent and take the right knee to the side. And keep the knee bent, point your knee to the right. Bring it closer towards your right shoulder. There you go. Inhale to come forward. Exhale, bend your elbows right over your wrist and bring the inner right thigh on your upper arm. Press down into it. Begin to straighten the right leg and reach forward through your head to lift the back leg. Ekapada Kuninyasana 2. Exhale to step back to down dog. We'll do it a couple of times so you get to practice it. You can always just do any part of it that honors your spirit of adventure where you are today. Bend the left knee, take it to the side and draw it more towards your left shoulder. And on an inhalation, start to come forward towards plank. Exhale, bend the elbows over your wrist and bring the left inner thigh on your upper arm. Press down into it. Begin to straighten the leg and reach your head forward. Ekapada Kuninyasana 2. Exhale to down dog. Receive a full breath. Exhale, pranam into child's pose. Take a break to feel it and honor how you stepped into that with a spirit of adventure. It honors your infinite nature, the infinite nature of consciousness that expresses as you, through you, for you. And inhale, come up to seated. Enjoy your breath. Get clear once again in your intention. And we'll give it one more try. How about that? With adventure, the spirit of adventure. You know, if you only try it once, Sometimes you go, oh man, I can't do that. But if you put more adventure spirit into it and try it a second time, you may find it's different. It will be different every time. Either you'll be more tired than you were or you learn something and you start to get the hang of it. Practice makes practice. Please come into plank. From plank, exhale to down dog. Take your right knee to the right with the knee bent. Draw the knee towards your right shoulder. Inhale, come forward, bend the elbows out of your wrist. Bring the upper thigh, inner thigh onto your upper arm and begin to straighten the leg. Root the leg into the arm. Reach forward through your head. Express the pose of the spirit of adventure through the bones of the legs, long through the spine. Exhale, down dog. 
Only two legs. Here we go. Bend the left knee out to the left. Draw the knee towards your shoulder. Inhale, come forward towards plank, then bend the elbows out of your wrist, bring your inner thigh on your upper arm, press down into the upper arm, begin to straighten the leg to lift up into the pose. Express the pose out through the legs, out through your spine. One more deep breath. Exhale, down dog. And you're still alive, I hope. After that adventure, receive a full breath and pranam, take a bow to your adventurous spirit, which is an expression of infinite consciousness. Our pranam into balasana.